Hello, it's Anika. Welcome back to 40 Things That I Have Learned on My Road to Turning 40. So I actually um, celebrated my birthday on April 28th and my awesome husband absolutely blew my mind and threw me a surprise birthday party. And it was just such a time of celebration for me. And it was just amazing because even though it was a long night, I remember just going to bed that night and just, or that early morning, I should say, and just feeling like so rested in, in my spirit. I was just at such peace. I, I was just overflowing and I, I felt so refreshed in my spirit. So this kind of um, feeds into the lesson that I have learned and I learned it this past weekend as I celebrated my birthday is that we all need seasons of rest and sometimes that rest comes in the form of celebration. Yes, absolutely, we need physical rest. We do need to get adequate sleep. We do need to have times of just refreshing where we pull away from everything. And believe me, the world will not stop until Jesus returns. It won't stop because you're not going 24 seven. Like sometimes I think we just put so much on ourselves and we're addicted to being busy and we have to learn to just press the pause button and really rest. Like that's absolutely needed. God demonstrated that for us in the beginning. And even when Jesus, um, you know, was here on this earth, we see in the scriptures how many times he stole away from the crowd and he had just a time of just being replenished and being in the Father's presence. So we also need that. But this weekend, I also realized that celebration can be a form of rest, right? Because I was celebrating that all that God had done in my life. And, you know, as I listened to different people, um, you know, sing songs or the spoken word that was there or uh, just the saxophonist who played. It, it was just so beautiful. And as I um, interacted with different individuals, again, I walked away just feeling so refreshed in my spirit. And I think sometimes we don't stop to take time out to really just to celebrate. And I, I, I even want to take it to another level. I think about sometimes when I go to church and I'm just so physically exhausted and the praise team gets gets up and they begin to like just sing a really awesome upbeat praise song that reminds me of who God is and I get to dancing and lifting my hands and praising God. It's amazing sometimes how that tiredness leaves me and I end up feeling refreshed. So I think sometimes even when we praise and we celebrate God, right? That that can also be a form of rest because when you're in the presence of God and you're praising him and you're worshiping him and you're dancing before him and you're just rehearsing his goodness, it recalibrates you, right? You may come in just feeling so beat down or just physically exhausted from the week, but there's something about magnifying God and celebrating him and putting our focus on him that gives us rest, right? That helps us to refocus. So I want to end there today, but I want to encourage you to take the time to rest and to find reasons to celebrate. Every single day, there's a reason to celebrate. It may not be on a grand scale like my surprise uh, 40th birthday party, but there's always a reason to lift our hands and to tell God thank you and to celebrate who he is and again taking that time to also physically rest all right you be blessed